What's up guys, Bionic here with another Age Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to talk about the brand new fusion of Warwick Wormbane that is going to be released on September the 6th. So I have the pre-fusion plan for you guys, a couple of tips and tricks of what you can do right now to be prepared for this, as well as the skill breakdown and a first look at his character model. So all that said, let's check it out. So here's a quick snapshot of the pre-fusion guide for you guys. This is available in the comments section below. It's called BGE's Guides. You can access this at any time that you want. So you will be able to go on the tab right here at the bottom that says Fusion Charts, and this is where you will see this. Obviously, this is going to be updated. This is not the actual plan. I have yet to have the actual values, but what I am using as a point of reference is the previous fusion of Mother Sibel, which was a lot harder across the board. So I would say expect a very hard fusion. It is starting to look a lot more like uh, Brogny's across the board. You guys can also see all of my builds right here on my account with a hyperlink to my YouTube video. So if you guys want to just overall have a, a picture of what my account looks like in the end game, this is the place to do it. So Rorik Wormbane will be a Barbarian's Spirit Attack a Legendary Champion, and this is going to be a Fragment type of a fusion, which is a great thing because you don't need to farm the potions, but you still need to work really hard to get enough fragments for to be able to farm this. You can also decide to hang on to this fusion for a later date so that you can grab him during the Champion Chase Tournament of another fusion and generate more points, okay? So let's go over his skills real quick, and then we'll do the tips and tricks. So we have uh, the the A1, you attack one enemy two times. Each hit has a 40% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Each hit will fill this champion's turn meter by 15% if the target is not under a stun debuff after the hit. So really interesting A1. You certainly want this guy to counter attack as often as possible. As for the A2, you still attack only one enemy, has an 80% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 75%, probably can be booked to a little bit better. If this skill fully depletes of the target's turn meter, also has an 80% chance of placing a stun debuff on all other enemies for one turn. So really interesting a lot of crowd control right there um as for the a3 we have attack one enemy will ignore 50 percent of the target's defense so this is really good kind of like a tank killer and spirit nukers are kind of hard to come by right as for the passive effect here we'll always use this skill instead of the default skill when counter-attacking. Okay, very interesting. So you're not actually going to use the A1. Instead, you're gonna be using the A3. This skill will not be blocked by block active skills debuffs. Interesting, so this is the first of its kind where we can kind of counter the block active skills. And then for the A4, Titans end immune to stun debuffs and deal 15% more damage to bosses and receive 50% less damage from them. Okay, so really interesting champion. I think he's going to be well worth it. But the question is just how hard is this guy going to be? So one week before this fusion, what can you start doing right now to have an easier time at completing this fusion? Of course, it's all about hoarding your resources. And I've said this multiple times before. I think that having at least 2000 gems as a backup is a great starting point. This is usually Usually just extra energy. Having above 20 million silver, I'd say about 25 million silver is probably one of the best things uh, you can do as well. I'm currently a little bit low, but don't forget you do have the forge. You can craft a lot of things in here and sell it for a decent amount of silver. So generate more silver right now. You might want to wait until the clan versus clan torment to do this. You can also do your gear cleanse as quickly as possible. This is going to free up a lot of slots, number one, but also generate some silver. Again, same concept here. You might want to hang on to the best pieces of the high value sets i've shown this multiple times before on my bge's guides for example the artifacts right here where i call this the artifact enhancement event cheating let me put this a little bit bigger for you guys where you're going to grab the high value sets you're going to take the rank five or six pieces legendary and epic if you can the shields are worth more than the weapon and so on all the way to the helm banner worth more than the amulet and the ring and then what you do is you rank it up to eight and then you sell it you still make a profit assuming you're working with these sets right here okay so start generating silver right now be ready for this ahead of time it is going to be a lot easier so gems there you go one thing silver is the next and of course there is the energy you're going to need a whole lot of it so what do you do with the energy you hoard it right unfortunately because this is starting in a week all this good stuff here is not going to be good enough i'm going to have to spend this before that time but for these little potions right here that you get from the uh daily gimmies from the shop or whatever 
it is, hang on to those. It's good for 99 days, so just hoard those and try not to use them even during the fusion if you don't need to. Any other events or tournaments that are ongoing right now that you are working on, don't grab them. You see this right here, Tag Arena Tournament, two days and 17 hours. So three days before uh, that I have to grab this. If I don't, it's then going to go to my inbox for six days. So this will be counting towards the fusion of Rorik. Okay, so I'm not going to touch that. Classic Arena Takedown, I'm not going to touch that energy. Going to leave it in there. Dragon Torment, I'm not really working on it, but there's more gems in here. You might want to push and try to get at least the gems, maybe even the chicken, right? So that's the next thing. Do you have enough chickens to saved up? You will have to do a lot of foods. I have way too many chickens, okay? So don't hate me too much here, but uh, yeah, you know, I get some extra ones. So this part for me is a little bit easy, but I tend not to use the two star and the three star chickens, which those I do not get in terms of perks uh, that I get from events and tournaments. I just hang on to those for uh, backup plans for the fusions, all right? You're not going to need any potions because this is a fragment fusion. So overall, not too many worries at that point. And then of course, you're going to need some shards. So do hoard your shards. You always want to have enough. I always say to try and use your sacred charge during the summon rush and then try to keep your uh, saved up fusions right for the champion chase tournaments if you have an extra fusion of broadma ready to go or maybe you want to prepare one like i do right now i only need to send these champions here real quick a little bit and then i'm good to go so this is 350 points for the champion chase tournament do that let's quickly go over the pre-fusion chart and we'll figure out the rest as we get closer to this event so i still don't know if it's going to be 10x event 2x event for the summon rush or champion chase it might be the other way around where the champion chase is first and then the summon rush we don't know but one thing is for sure the summon rush and the champion chase tournaments were harder last time mother sibel they pushed up the difficulty of this you know i said uh, another surprise from them because it was different before okay it was lower before and now they're increasing the difficulty again so who knows they might also increase the difficulty further in some of the other events and tournaments as for the artifact enhancement events we might have two we might have three but i usually say to hang on to about 20 million silver at least as for the energy if i add up all the dungeon divers events champion training the dungeons themselves and everything uh we should be at roughly 20 000 free energy that you would need for this this is doable with free to play energy with the amount of days that we have to complete this but if you do need some extra maybe you're going to spend a little bit of gems which is all right spend some gems to convert them to get a legendary it's a great trade-off as for brews i usually say that you use about 250 give or take and then for the shards it's going to depend on the summon rush and whatnot and then mystery shards same concept it's going to depend on champion training event and tournament if let's say you have a lot of food saved up which i do as well i've been hanging on to a ton of food from the previous events and tournaments that i'm going to keep for this fusion so walk in there with a ton of food ready to go it will make your life a lot easier so overall there you have it quick tips and tricks for you guys to be prepared make sure you keep checking the bge's guides for the updated fusion plan so that we can complete another fusion as free to play thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video